you know, us bald guys. We gotta stick together. What's going on everybody? SLB coming at you with another video review and this time we're taking a look at WWE Elite Collection Series 56, Carl Anderson. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. Here he is inside his packaging. Clear window right here comes with a t-shirt. Build a display right here at the bottom. Top of it just says Elite Collection. This side, it just has Carl Anderson, a picture of him with his pointy beard right there. Just kind of... <laughs> On this side of the packaging, it just has, says Carl Anderson. On the back, it just has a quick bio of Carl Anderson there, as well as pictures of the other figures in the series. And that is it for the packaging. So let's release him from his plastic casket here and see what he looks like in hand. So here we have Carl Anderson out of the packaging, and really quickly, let's go over what's included in the packaging. Uh, what's included in the packaging is, again, another display base, click together, like so. And here's the artwork of Carl Anderson, slides right in there, and there you go. You know what, I kind of like the blue more than I like AJ Styles. Let's get Carl Anderson out of the way here. I kind of like, I, I like this one better than this one. I do. I think they're supposed to be this way though. And they just connect. All oh, these things connect. It's, it's a really simple connection. But there you go. And I like that. Again, I like the uh, blue more than I like the yellow. There might be one missing in there. So we'll say that for another day. Put those aside. Let's bring Mr. Carl Anderson back out here. We got one more thing to cover in the uh, what's included. He comes with his shirt. And this shirt is actually really cool. I like it. I love the detail in the uh, logo there for Gallows and Anderson. I, I Even in real life, I love this logo. I think it's really cool. It speaks volumes. Right there. And it's a nice material. It's not plastic or anything like that. And it's got a really nice Velcro in the back. So you can put it on Carl Anderson really easily. And I'll go over that later on to show you what it looks like. But there is that. And moving right along, here is Carl Anderson. The OG BC Bullet Club for, for, for life. Here he is. And I, it, let's get in on his face. His face looks weird. It looks like him, but it looks like a cartoon version of him. He's got a weird smirk to his face. It makes him look toonish. Makes him look like a like he's not a caricature, more maybe Greg Horn esque drawing. I want to say, I don't know, but it looks pretty decent. Beard looks really good. No big plain blemishes there. No chest hair here, but nice muscle definition throughout the shoulders and right around here. And his tattoos, a little on the weird side. Uh, very vibrant blue up top here. Some greens mixed in there. Looks pretty good. Got the guitar right here. And just to give you an idea of how detailed this is, if you go in... See how close we can get it. On the guitar, there's the input right there, knobs, strings, I mean, pick guard. Looks really detailed, really nice. They even got it on the section right here. So that looks really cool. I think that lo I think that looks good. Uh, here he is in his long trunks and looks pretty good. He's got the uh, Too Sweet logo all over him and he's got the Al Gallows and Anderson logo gas mask with swords right here this looks really good not a lot of paint blemishes there hashtag BC hashtag KA on the knee pads looks pretty good yeah. little paint blemish on the gluteus maximus here got Anderson 
pretty decently picked out right there. Could use a little bit more black down here, but looks pretty good in my opinion. And then just nothing, no paints in the uh, boots area, but some pretty nice molded laces down there. So there is that. Articulation wise, it's pretty much your standard WWE figure articulation. Head is on a ball joint, can go all the way around, down, up, X, up and down. Shoulders 360 out that far. Bicep swivel, 90 degree bend at the elbow there. Get a wrist swivel, wrist hinge, ab crunch there. Awkward waist swivel right there. Hips can go forward only that far, can go, cannot go back that far, can go out that far. Thigh swivel underneath the hip. Gorgeous double bend at the knee. Swivel underneath the knee here. And ankle rocker, ankle tilt. Really nice tight ankle tilt and as well an ankle rocker right there. So that is that. Let's bring out the shirt to show you how this goes on. We can stand him up. Okay. So like I said, just a Velcro like so in one arm in both arms there a lot easier to do than AJ Styles uh, hood I'll say that right now just close it up back there uh, which side goes this side goes down first okay there there and there and there you go there's his open neck shirt Looks really good on him. I like it. I would have liked it if, you know, this was a little closed more, but that's just me. Give it more of a t-shirt feel, but hey, I dig it. I dig it. Looks pretty good in my opinion. So for comparison, let's bring out AJ Styles so we get some Bullet Club members in this right there. Yeah. And for another comparison, here he is with Dragon Star Vegeta. And for another comparison, here he is with three three quarter inch Marvel Universe Captain America. Hey, look, he's standing up for once. Awesome. So yeah. So yeah. I mean, there's really nothing to say about this guy. He's great. Uh, my final thoughts on. Mr. Carl Anderson here. A pretty good representation. The face looks kind of cartoonish, but that's just my opinion. I think he's solid. He, his joints are nice and tight. I'm not a big fan of the, the uh, tights here. That's just not my favorite rendition of it. Um, I would have liked something a little bit more colorful. I mean, I do like the black tights, but I would like a little something more colorful, maybe some blue or something like that. If you want to get some good Carl Anderson uh, wrestling matches, you got to go Japan. Nothing's coming off top of my head, but that's where he really got his name is in Japan. Him and Luke Gowles and the OG Bullet Club members, they all started out in Japan. And I think those were some of his best matches. Like I said, nothing's coming to mind off the top of my head. But just go look up Carl Anderson, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and you'll see some easily four or five star matches from him tagging with Luke Gallows in there. So it's a really, it's a really quick uh, review here. I mean, he's a really solid figure. No complaints, no QC issues. The face sculpt is a little off. Other than that, I mean, he's great. He's nice. The shirt looks really good, really stands out. What did you think of this figure? Let me know in the description down below like share subscribe all that fun stuff hit me up on facebook on twitter on instagram all of those links will be in the description down below if you know of a carl anderson match that that you think is great throw it in the comment section down below i will gladly watch it and let you know my opinion i know wrestling
but some things escape me at times, like right now. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And this is SLB, and this has been my review of WWE Elite Collection Series 56, Carl Anderson. And this is SLB saying, my childhood hates me. Ha, too sweet.